We are back with another episode of Black Metal Promotion, today we will cover one of the true Norwegian black metal band Gorgorot before starting, if you are new to this channel make sure to like this video, and subscribe to this channel for new videos, let's get started. Gorgorot is a Norwegian black metal band based in Bergen, Norway, the band was formed in 1992 by guitarist Infernus, who is also the only original member remaining currently. Gorgorot is a satanic band and has drawn controversy due to some of their concerts, which have featured impaled sheep heads and mock crucifixions. Gorgorot lyrics is mainly focused on satanic themed and anti-Christian. The band's founder and guitarist Infernus is openly a theistic Satanist and considers himself as Satan's minister on earth. He formed Gorgorot to express his Satanist beliefs. The band's former vocalist Gal is openly anti-Christian. In an interview for the 2005 heavy metal documentary, Metal Ahead Banger's Journey, Gal was asked what inspired Gorgorota's music, and his reply simply, Satan. And when a journalist asked what he believes, Gal reply Satan represents freedom. Gal explained his use of satanic and anti-Christian themes, we live in a Christian world and we have to speak their language. When I use the word Satan it means the natural order, the will of a man, the will to grow, the will to become the superman and not to be oppressed by any law such as the church, which is only a way to control the masses. Gall and Infernus were openly supportive of the church burnings perpetrated by members of the black metal scene in the early 1990s. Gall further said, there should have been more of them, and there will be more of them. Gorgorot, meaning land of great despair, Sunfjord, meaning healthy fjord, band named is taken from the dark plains of Mortar in J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. In 1993, the band released their first demo, entitled A Sorcery Written in Blood. Demo's title was taken from the lyrics of the song The Return of Darkness and Evil by the band Bathory. The demo was released in 1993 as a limited edition hand-numbered cassette. A seven vinyl bootleg also existed, however, there were no official reissues. Due to the satanic imagery used on the demo cover, the newspaper, Ferda in Ford in Sonogfjordane of Norway, ran a front page story on the demo with the headline Local Music with Satanic Symbolism, this demo led to the band landing a record deal with French record label Embassy Productions. The track Sexual Blood Gargling was an early version of the song Ritual, re-recorded for Gorgorota's first album Pentagram. On this demo. Hat, vocals. Infernus, guitar. K. Jetter, bass. Goat Perverter, drums. The demo track are. 1. Gathered at Blakela. 2. Sexual Blood Gargling. 3. Under, the Pagan Megalith. When the demo was released, Gorgorot entered into a deal with Embassy Productions to create a full-length album called Pentagram, it was the band's first full-length release with two demo cassettes, a sorcery written in blood and promo 94, it was the only album to feature Samoth on bass and Goat Perverter on drums, promo 94 is the second demo by Gorgorot, it was independently released in 1994 on cassette, and featured raw mixes of two tracks from Pentagram. Promo 94 track R. Katharina's Bort Gang. Mains Kaigen Slave. When bassist K. Jeter left the band in 1993, Samoth of Emperor joined Gorgorot as their new bassist and participated in the recording of the Pentagram album. After Pentagram was completed and released in 1994 and, Pentagram album was reissued eight times, four of those on CD, in 1996 by Malicious Records, in 1999 by Century Black in America, in 2005 as a remastered version on Season of Mist, and in 2007 on Regain Records. It was reissued four times on 12 vinyl, by Malicious Records in 1996, limited to 500 copies, by Agonai Records in 2005, limited to 1000 copies, in 2006 by Back on Black Records, and in 2016 by Soul Seller Records. On this album hat on, vocals. Infernus on, guitar. Samoth on, bass guitar. Goat Perverter on, drums. Pentagram album track R. 
1 be gravel says Nat, burial night. 2 crushing the scepter, regaining a lost dominion. 3 ritual hat. 4 drama om dod, dreaming of death. 5 Katharina's board gang, Katharina's passing. 6 huldralok. 7 under, the pagan megalith. 8 monoskigan slave, the moonshadow slave. After the pentagram drummer Goat left the band and was replaced by Frost from Satyricon. The band performed their first concert at Lusilati's Pub in Oslo on May 3, 1994 at a four-day, Black Metal Nights festival with bands such as Dark Funeral, who also made their live debut, Dissection, Enslaved, Marduk, who played their first gig abroad, Gehenna and Hades Almighty. And and the band performed their first gig abroad in Annaberg Buchholz in Germany on December 10, 1994. The same year, the band announced the recording of Antichrist, originally titled Dodd, their second full-length album. But vocalist Hat decided to leave Gorgorod in September 1995, but agreed to finish recording the vocal tracks for Antichrist. After Hat left, Infernus recruited vocalist Pest from obtained enslavement as Gorgoroda's new vocalist. In December 1995, the band supported Cradle of Filth at the London Astoria, a show which also included the band Primordial. This marked the first Gorgoroda live appearance of both vocalist Pest and bassist Ares. In 1995 the band had been offered a record deal with Moonfog Productions, but this offer was rejected in favor of an offer made by German label Malicious Records. Malicious Records release the working title of the album was Dodd, meaning Death or Dead. It was released by Malicious Records on June 3, 1996 on vinyl, limited to 500 copies, and CD. It was re-released several times, by Century Black in 1999, as a remastered version by Season of Mist in 2005, on vinyl in 2005 on Agonai Records limited to 1,000 copies, and on vinyl in 2006 on Back on Black Records. The latter was released in a gatefold sleeve, and included a guitar pick signed by Infernus. It was the first album to feature Pest on vocals and Frost on drums, and the last album to feature Hat on vocals. Tracks on this album are 1 and Stramlut A V Chris Tent Blood, A Rank Smell of Christian. 2 Berk Trollets Heaven, Mountain Trolls Revenge. 3 Gorgorod. 4 Possessed, by Satan. 5 Heaven's Fall Instrumental. 6 Sorg, Sorrow. On this album. Infernus, Guitar, Bass. Frost, Drums. Vocals Hat, Track, 2, 3, and 6. Pest Vocal, Possessed by Satan. After the Pentragram release the band went on a European tour with Satyricon and Dissection in April 1996, followed by a one-off gig in Bergen with Hades Almighty and Gehenna, at which the live EP The Last Tormentor was recorded the band also played, a one-off gig in the fall in Biskopfswerda, Germany, with Behemoth. Soon the name Gorgorod was commonplace in the black metal underground, both in Norway and in the rest of Europe, Gorgorod is overshadowed by some of the more famous black metal bands such as Mayhem or Emperor. The band's third full-length album, Under the Sign of Hell, was recorded in spring 1996, and guitarist Tormentor joined the band later in the year, it was the first album to feature Ares on bass, on one track, and the only one to feature Grimm on drums, Under the Sign of Hell was released on October 20, 1997 on Malicious Records. It was re-released in 1999 on Century Black, and again in 2005 on Season of Mist. Agonai Records released the album on LP in 2005, limited to 1,000 copies, and Back on Black Records reissued the LP again in 2006, a remastered version was released in 2007 by Regain Records. Gorgorod re-recorded the album as Under the Sign of Hell 2011, released in November 2011 by Regain Records, this re-recorded version was the last album with vocalist Pest, all track written by Infernus. And track R. 1. Revelation of Doom. 2. Krig, War. 3. Funeral Procession. 4. Prof. 10's Appenbaring, 
Prophets Revelation. 5. Postludium. 6. Adelic Gels Ag Undergang, Destruction and Doom. 7. Blood Stains the Circle. 8. The Rite of Infernal Invocation. 9. The Devil is Calling. After the album was released Gorgorot, went on their first headlining European tour in the fall of 1997, with support from Mystic Circle. It was on this tour that Infernus and Tormentor were approached by the major German heavy metal record label Nuclear Blast, who wanted to sign the band. The band accepted the offer in late 1997. The move to Nuclear Blast was controversial among many black metal enthusiasts, who pertained to the tenets of an underground black metal scenes the first album recorded, and released for Nuclear Blast was Destroyer, 1998. New singer Gall joined the band at this time but was heard on only one song, the title track Destroyer. The music and lyrics on the album were mainly written by Infernus, but guitarist Tormentor also contributed as a composer, most notably on the title track, and former vocalist Pest wrote the lyrics on four tracks. It contains eight tracks performed by several different lineups, with band founder Infernus being the only member to be featured on all tracks. Four different vocalists were featured on the album, including Infernus on two tracks, Pest on four tracks, and Tear Reaper and new vocalist Gall each on one track. Destroyer was the first album to feature Gall and guitarist Tormentor, the only one for Tear Reaper and drummer Verlok, the last to feature Pest, until his return in 2008, and the last for drummer Frost until his return in 2004. The album was re-released in 2006 by Back on Black Records as a gatefold vinyl LP, the subtitle of the album, or about how to philosophize with the hammer, was also the subtitle of Friedrich Nietzsche's book, Twilight of the Idols, itself a future Gorgorot album title. Destroyer album track R. 1. Destroyer in Furnace. 2. Open the Gates. 3. The Devil, the Sinner, and His Journey. 4. O.M. Christen Ogjodisk True, About Christian and Jewish Faith. 5. Pa Slag Mark Lang M.O.T. Nord. 6. Blood Offer, Blood Offering. 7. The Virgin Born. 8. Slotted I Det Fjern, Dark Throne Cover. In May 1998, Gorgorod played five dates in Germany on Cradle of Filth's European tour, with support from Old Man's Child and Ain Herger. Gorgorot also performed at Wacken Open Air in summer 1998 and performed at the Tuska Open Air Metal Festival in Helsinki, Finland, and in Oslo, Norway with Gehenna and Guard. In 1999, Gorgorot began journeying into unknown territory with the recording of Incipit Satan. Mainly written by Infernus once again, the album delved into musical ideas not expanded upon by the group in previous recordings. Songs such as Will to Power showcase strong industrial, dark ambient, and noise influences, more so than on Destroyer and Under the Sign of Hell, both showed signs of experimentation. The song When Love Rages Wild in My Heart featured clean, bluesy vocals. Overall, the album displayed progressive tendencies yet retained a traditional black metal edge, and inferno signature sound. The album was recorded in 1999, after drummer Verloke and bassist, Tear Reaper had left the band and were replaced by drummer Orland Eriksson, aka SJT Eriksson, and bassist King O.V. Hell. Drummer Orland Eriksson left the band after the recordings were finished, and Incipit Satan was released in 2000, the band members dedicated this album to their deceased friend and former bandmate Eric Brodreskift, aka Grimm, and the album tracks are 1. Incipit Satan to a world to win. 3. Litany till Satan. 4. Unchain my heart. 5. An excerpt of X. 6. I need may be blood og helvetisild. 7. Will to power. 8. When love rages wild in my heart. In May 2000, Gorgorod headlined a European tour, with bands like Old Man's Child and Chryseun as supporting acts. In early June 2000, Gorgorod performed at the first Hole in the Sky Festival in Bergen, Norway. This festival was arranged in memory of former Gorgorod drummer Grimm and included bands such as Immortal, Enslaved, Obtained Enslavement, Hades Almighty, and Eternus. 
On June 23, 2000, Gorgorod headlined the Nachtstage stage at the With Full Force Festival in Leipzig, Germany. After a couple of Norwegian concerts in 2000 and 2001, Gorgorod made their hitherto only live appearance in the US at the Milwaukee Metal Fest in August 2001. In September and October 2001, the band went on two mini tours of Mexico and Colombia. In 2001, Gorgorod was also featured on a tribute album to the Norwegian black metal band Mayhem, with a cover version of that band's Life Eternal from the The Mysterious Doom Sathanas album. This song had been recorded in 1998 and featured Gull on vocals, as well as Infernus and Tormentor on rhythm guitars, T Reaper on lead guitar and bass, and Vrlok on drums. This is the only released Gorgorod recording that has not appeared on a full length Gorgorod album. In February 2002, vocalist Gull was taken into custody after being accused of having beaten a man at an after party. This led to him having to serve nine months in prison in 2002, due to an already existing unserved one year sentence for previously committed acts of violence. He was released from prison in December 2002. In 2002, Tormentor decided to quit the band due to no longer being able to cooperate with King ending the stable five-piece lineup of Gaul, Infernus, Tormentor, King O.V. Hell and Kvitrovn, which had been formed in 2000. After Tormentor's departure, Gorgorod began writing their new album, Twilight of the Idols. The album showed a return to a more solidified black metal style, but was still quite different from early Gorgorod releases, mainly due to the fact that most of the album's songs were written by bassist King and drummer Kvitrovn rather than Infernus. The band played their first live gig in a year and a half at Garage in Bergen in April 2003, with Tormentor returning as guitarist for a one-off show. Twilight of the Idols was released by Nuclear Blast in May 2003, and the band subsequently performed at the Hole in the Sky Festival in Bergen in August 2003. This marked the first Gorgorod live appearance of session guitarist Apollyon of Orenoir. Gorgorod Controversy Show in Krakow, 2004 On February 1, 2004, during a concert being recorded for a DVD in Krakow, Poland, the band displayed sheep heads on stakes, a bloodbath of 80 liters of sheep's blood, satanic symbols, and four naked crucified real-life models on stage. A police investigation took place with allegations of religious offense, which is prosecutable under Polish law, and cruelty to animals. Though these charges were considered, the band was not charged as it was ruled, that they were unaware of the fact that what they were doing was illegal, although the concert organizer was eventually fined 10,000 ZL in 2007 as he knew about it, and neither informed the band that it was against the law. The whole controversy led to the band being dropped from the roster of the Nuclear Blast Tour and the footage of the concert being confiscated by the police. Following this controversy, Gorgorod also having achieved a larger degree of worldwide recognition through Nuclear Blast's distribution facilities, the contract between both parties was bilaterally terminated. Gorgorod further secured a reputation as a band with a vehement anti-right-hand path agenda, regarding which certain employees in the company were alleged to have felt uneasy due to their own personal beliefs. After a successful South American tour of Brazil, Chile, and Argentina, and a performance at Norway's Inferno Festival, it was announced in April 2004 that drummer Kvitrovn had decided to leave the band. For the band's European and Central American headlining tours of October and November 2004, drummer Dirge Rep, Ex enslaved, Gehenna, and guitarist Telek, Nidingra, were recruited. After various shows around Europe in the first half of 2005, including the With Full Force Festival in July, Gorgoro then went out on a month long European tour with 1349 in November 2005, this time with Skag, Gal Skag, replacing Telek as live guitarist. On December 10, 2005, Gorgoro played live in Trondheim. Norway, a gig which was to be their last live performance until summer 2007. Gorgorod released Ad Majorum Sathanas Glorium in June 2006 through Regain Records. 
This was only the second Gorgorot album to be released since 2000's Insipid Satan, a noticeable reduction in productivity from a band that had previously released two demos, five full-length albums and one live EP between 1993 and 2000. For the recording of the new album, Frost again performed on the drums. This album helped the band to expand its fan base. A short time after the album was released, bassist King quit the band. According to the official website, King left because he had problems fronting some of the ideological aspects of his band Gorgoroda's agenda, in an interview made shortly after quitting the band, he confirmed he had problems with the ideology in public, but not in his private life. Gorgorod was nominated in the medal category at the 35th Annual Spellaman Awards for Ad Majorum Sathanas Glorium, the Norwegian equivalent to the Grammy Awards. And the album track are One Wound Upon Wound Two Carving a Giant Three God Seed, Twilight of the Idols Four Sign of an Open Eye Five White Seed Six Exit Seven Untamed Forces Eight Prosperity and Beauty Upon the release of this album, Gaul and Infernus went to jail. Gaul served a sentence in jail from spring to December 2006 for the assault which happened in February 2002, Gaul was sentenced to 14 months in prison for beating a 41-year-old man and threatening to drink his blood. The victim, whose identity has not been revealed by the Norwegian media, explained that he went to an after-hours party in February 2002 at the invitation of Gaul's brother, and ended up engaging in a verbal disagreement with Gaul. However, he denied that he physically attacked Gaul, as has been claimed by the defendant. The 41-year-old told the court of increased use of violence as the night progressed. He claimed to have no recollection of how long it took for the entire episode to transpire, but he indicated that it seemed to last for a very long time. He also described a situation where he was given a cup in which he was supposed to bleed. He said he was first hit once, then another time because he did not bleed enough. According to the alleged victim, the defendant said, I'm going to sacrifice you, I'm going to drink your blood. But Gall's mother testified, that she found the accusation of blood drinking particularly hard to believe. My son is a vegetarian and very fussy about food. He eats absolutely no innards. That is why I do not believe this at all. Inferna served a four-month sentence between October 2006 and March 2007, for an incident that took place in 2003. Inferna was accused of raping a woman at an after-party. In the following trial, he was acquitted of rape but was convicted of gross negligent rape and served four months in prison in the winter of 2006-2007. After being released, it was reported that Infernus had started working on new material, both music and lyrics for an upcoming album, title yet undecided in January 2007, it was reported that Gall was under investigation by Norwegian police for his comments in an interview in Metal, A Headbanger's Journey, 2005, which had been broadcast on Norway's Lidverket NRK1 on January 24, 2007, where he said church burnings are things that I support 100%, and they should have been done much more and will be done much more in the future. In April 2007, a five-part series entitled True Norwegian Black Metal, produced by Peter Best for Vice, aired on VBS TV, covering some of the aspects of Gaul's life. With King back in the band, the video for Carving a Giant off Ad Majorum Sathanas Glorium was also filmed and broadcast in July and August 2007, Gorgorod returned to the live arena with performances at festivals in Norway, Germany and the Czech Republic. In September 2007, the band went on a South American tour of Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Ecuador and Chile with Belfigur. These would be the last Gorgorod concerts to feature Gaul and King in October 2007, Infernus announced the decision of Gaul and King OV Hell to part ways on the band's official MySpace page, Gaul and King claimed that they had fired Infernus from Gorgorod and claimed the rights to the band's name, with King having made a trademark application the previous month. This dispute was concluded in March 2009 when a court verdict was announced, 
which recognized Infernus as the legitimate user of the name and that Gaul and King had excluded themselves from Gorgorod, upon attempting to remove the founding member, shortly after parting ways with Gaul and King, Infernus said that he was in the process of finishing and preparing the material he reportedly started in October 2006, and was first reported writing when he was released on parole in March 2007. Declaring the title to be Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt, to be released on Regain Records. He also stated that future live performances would minimize the use of the Gorgorot songs written between 2002 and 2004, although only three songs by King O.V. Hell and two by Kvitrovn, four of which had lyrics written by Gaul, were ever performed live, and that priority would be given to both older and brand new material. In December 2007, he revealed Dimash Asklund and Frank Watkins had joined Gorgorot as drummer and bassist. Watkins later took the stage name Bodil, which is the Norwegian word for executioner, the old name of obituary in April 2008, Infernus announced he was to depart for Stockholm, Sweden, where the next few months were spent rehearsing the material for Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt, in Tomasz Asklund's monolith studio, the controversial show of 2004 Krakow concert was finally released on DVD in June 2008, more than four years after its recording. It was released by Metal Mind Productions under the title, Black Mass Krakow 2004 and entered the Norwegian Music DVD chart at position 4 in its first week of release. It remained in the charts for five weeks, peaking at a number 3 position. On May 30, 2008, Regain Records announced the June 2008 release of true Norwegian black metal, Live in Grieg Holland, a new Gorgorot album that had been recorded live in the studio in mid-October 2007. Gorgorota's first full-length live album was released by Regain Records. The songs on the album represented the most commonly played songs in Gorgorota's live set. Most of the album was recorded before the departure of vocalist Gull and bass guitarist King O.V. Hell, who had intended on using the band's name and assets. The bass guitar for this album, originally performed by King O.V. Hell, was later re-recorded by guitarist and band founder Infernus. Infernus dedicated the album to the late, John Notvate of Dissection. After this release Infernus also announced in August that a pre-recording for, Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt was made with guitars, bass, and drums. After having spent the previous few months rehearsing in Monolith Studio Infernus said that he was working on arrangements with assistance from former Gorgorot guitarist Tormentor. In September 2008, Infernus announced Tormentor had accepted his offer to rejoin Gorgorot, together with Dimash Asklund and Bodil, on December 4, 2008, it was announced that Pest had returned as the vocalist, shortly after the conclusion of the Gorgorot name dispute, the recording of, Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt, began when Dimash Asklund commenced with the drum tracks in Monolith Studio. Infernus manually recorded six basic guitars for the album, and Bodil and Pest recorded bass and vocals respectively in June. In May 2009, it was announced that Gorgorod would play live again on August 29, 2009, at the 10th anniversary edition of the Hole in the Sky Festival in Bergen, Norway, this would be the band's first live appearance since September 2007. In late June 2009, it was announced that the vocals on true Norwegian black metal, Live in Grieg Holland were re-recorded by Pest. A week later the release dates and track listing for Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt were revealed. At the band's headlining concert at the Hole in the Sky Festival on August 29, the set list consisted mainly of older material, including two songs off the Pentagram album which had not been performed live since October 1997. The band also performed live, for the very first time, the new song Anuthanasia of Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt. Gorgorot also performed at UCA 2009 in Trondheim, Norway, on October 19, 2009. This concert coincided with the release of Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt. And the album track are 1 Anuthanasia, 2 Prayer, 3 Rebirth, 4 Building a Man. 
5 New Breed 6 Cleansing Fire 7 Human Sacrifice 8 Satan Prometheus 9 Introibo Ad Alitere Satanas The album gets an excellent review, with many reviewers commenting on the band's return to its roots, comparing the album with earlier releases like Antichrist, 1996. It was revealed in October 2009 that work on the follow-up to Quantos Pasunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt, including rehearsals by Infernus and Tomas Asklund in Stockholm, had taken place around that time. On April 1, 2010, it was officially announced, that half of the yet-to-be-titled new album had been pre-recorded in pre-production form, and that work on the album would continue through the year in between touring and festival appearances, with a tentative 2011 release date. In April 2010 Gorgorod embarked on a mini-tour of Europe consisting of five dates in Germany as well as one each in France, Belgium, Italy, and the Netherlands, to promote Quantos Passunt ad Satanitatum Trahunt. The band also performed at five European festivals in the summer of 2010 Germany's Summer Breeze Open Air Festival, the Ragnarok Festival in Germany, Brutal Assault in the Czech Republic, and Bloodstock Open Air in the UK, and the Finnish festival Jalomtali. In September 2010, Gorgorod embarked on a mini-tour in South America and also announced to be touring Europe again in November 2010, after switching to Massive Music Booking Agency. It was announced in October 2010 that the band was about to put the finishing touches on a re-recording of their 1997 release Under the Sign of Hell. The re-recording, with Pest on vocals and Tomasz Asklund on drums, was released as Under the Sign of Hell 2011 in December 2011. In August 2012, Pest stated that he would not be able to take part in Gorgoroda's September 2012 tour of Latin America. In response to Pest, Infernus kicked out the Pest from the band. Tox vocalist Hoist performed vocals for the Latin America tour. A Terigner of the Serbian band Triumphal, was announced as vocalist for the next Gorgorod studio album, Instinctus Bestialis. The mixing of the album was completed by June 2014 and mastering of it was to be done the next month. As of March 6, 2015, the album artwork and track listing were revealed and the release date of June 12, 2015 was confirmed, it is the first album to feature vocalist Terigner, and was the last to feature bassist Bodil who died from cancer four months after the album's release. It is to be sold through Soul Seller Records. On October 18, 2015, bassist Bodil, Frank Watkins, died from cancer. Track on this album are 1. Radix Malarum 2. Dionysian Rite 3. Ad Omnipotens Etern Diabolus 4. Come Night 5. Burn in His Light 6. Rage 7. Kala Brahman 8. Awakening This album reaches number 42 on Finnish album charts. Gorgorod current member is Infernus, Roger Teagues, Guitars, Bass, Drums, 1992, Present. Tomas Asklund, Drums, 2007, Present. Aterigner, Stefan Todorovic, Vocals, 2012, present. Thank you for watching till the end, if you enjoy this videos do gives thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and press the bell icon for new videos, all hail black metal giant Gorgorod.